All right, what's up, everybody? Been a long time since I've done one of these. So we'll be doing a uh, first-person game player commentary. It's a ladder match played on low key. Uh, my opponent is Strife down in this corner. Been a long time since I've done one of these, um, primarily because I've talked about this a couple times, but I've been coaching a summer league swim team uh, for the last couple months, and most of the time that I've spent playing FAF, I've been uh, wanting to uh, play with uh, play with friends and stuff like that. So I haven't been I haven't been doing ladder or anything like that. Uh, but that's going to change uh, today and going forward as well. So, Loki, pretty standard map, fan favorite. Well, I mean, I guess it's as standard as, as they get. I don't know if any map is quote unquote standard. Well, I mean, I guess there are some standard maps, but uh, Loki fan favorite, uh, which, <laughs> incidentally, Loki fan favorite. Loki fan favorite. All right, I'm going to stop making weird jokes, but uh, Loki is a fan favorite map. Uh, it's a good map. Lots of different uh, lanes to attack. Lots of different lanes to attack. Lots of different ways to uh, actually win the game. It pops up on ladder a lot. I'm not an expert at this map by any stretch of the imagination. I'm a, I don't even think um, uh, I don't even think I'm actually good at this map, so to speak. So uh, yeah, we're going to be doing our best here today. Um, and then after this, we'll, uh, depending on, you know, regardless of who wins or loses, we'll go ahead and do, uh, I call them a post-mortem, but go back and look at the game, see how things went, see what uh, I could have done better, what uh, my opponent could have done better as well, which I think is a great way to learn uh, this game. I don't think I do it enough. Uh, I don't go I don't go back and look at my replays enough. Um, so I can tell you already, I think a mistake that I've made, I should have had one of my initial engineers start reclaiming these trees. Um, there is a good amount of reclaim on this. So it's 2000, it says that there's only 3000, but uh, these trees, there's actually a good amount of reclaim in these trees. Um, it, it is not an insignificant amount. Um, and I could actually increase my efficiency a little bit by using this little attack move rally point. So, um, so what I did here essentially, uh, just because not everybody might know this trick. Um, there's something to shoot in something somewhere. Get my mini map on. Damn it. Uh, so anyway, what this trick does is uh, you select your factory. You select your factory and then you ho hold Alt for me, which is my attack move command. Um, and your engineer will go out here and this really increases their reclaim efficiency because as you can see this guy doesn't have to move or anything he's just he's just vacuuming things up doesn't have to move doesn't have to think he just goes and goes and goes i'm actually playing seraphim uh over the last like couple months i've uh, started enjoying playing seraphim quite a bit more actually instead of assisting the calm we're actually just going to go straight for two more factories because I need more factories because I'm about to start floating mass and I don't really want to use uh, this to... I don't really want to use uh, mass and upgrading mexes just yet. I need it for I need it for more units right now because I am... I get the sense that I'm behind. Although I kind of always feel like that. Uh, I'm actually going to have you come down here. Do that. Attack move. You assist that factory, um, and then after you're done, you're going to walk over here. And actually, this is one thing I've been trying to get better at doing is building, building radar. More radar, more often. More radar, more good. He already has air up. I do not have my air up just yet. He's chasing one of my tanks. Maybe I can bag an engineer that's back here expanding. Air scout, interceptors. More units being made. Give me that lovely juicy reclaim. You need to start reclaiming. Okay. What do I need to do now? I guess we're going to start setting up some forward radar. Try and get an idea of what's going on. All right, so he's got a bomber out. Very rude of him. 
special place in hell for people that use bombers. Basically cheating. Y you can fly and then shoot things. It's cheating. There's no other way to describe it. Back, rebuild this radar. Go for the attack move. I have a, nope, I don't have it yet. Alright, let's go see what our boy's up to. Got units that are pooling up. Do I have a fighter yet? Thank god. Go get him. Shoot him. Kill him with fire, preferably. Or whatever plasma thing it is. Uh, okay, so there's also bad guys over here that are killing me down here. Need... Uh, it's going to be a redundant radar, but whatever. Trade that. Alright, so where's he at? So, one, two, three, four. Land factories and an air factory. Um, I am at... Oh, okay, also one, two, three, four, which is bad, because I think I should be ahead right now. Let's start floating mass again. Okay, so he's got his hydro. Ah, here comes an engineer. Suspecting engineer. Or, uh, unsuspecting engineer, sorry. The engineer suspects nothing, which is why he's about to die. Uh, get that for an attack move next. I'm realizing I built a redundant radar on the front line now, but that's okay. This is the way. Uh, okay, so I have way more units here. I can definitely take this fight. Mop up some of his T1 units. He's definitely got them streaming in one by one, which is not good for him. But great for me. His commander is uh, ahead of my comm as well. Uh, so he moved his commander out of the base relatively early. I'm try and get some of my units to bunch up a little bit more. Kill that engineer, kill that, then come back here and deal with that stuff. So he's also doing he's also doing some reclaim operations as well. Which is good for him, bad for me. Because I'm still floating mass. See, look at how efficient this guy is. Like this is one engineer. Look at how much he's cleared out. That's awesome. Whether that's going to be enough to make a difference or not, who knows. Right. So those two two thams did their job. I don't want to get into fight there. I was able to bag the engineer though that was going for that expansion, which is really good. I'm actually going to build factories over here. still need the amount of mass on this map as I'm panic upgrading mechs is I'm probably going to over now overstrain my economy oh a thousand percent yeah let's see if we can keep denying these though put this unit back this little squad back that units pooling up here we'll have them go reinforce up here get up into his face on these mechs I think this is going pretty well for us right now uh, I have much more and more centralized production than he does, I believe, at this point. He's got the radar. So he's got a scout in. That back line. This is a weak spot for me, though. No question about it. Bright side is, though, it seems to be a weak spot for him as well, because we're going to take out this factory along with these mixes. This is a lot of sunk mass for him. Uh, grab that rock. All right. All right, so he's also gonna start hitting me in that spot. It's a very sensitive spot. The commander's under attack. Ah, he's fine. He's fine. He does this all the time. It's just another day in the office for him. Uh, go for tech two. Uh, we need some more power. We will need some more power in the future. I think I'm subsisting off of reclaim at this point. Uh, okay. Wait. What am I doing? Aha! <laughs> Look! Dude was ahead of it. Dude was ahead of the curve. He was gonna reclaim that, uh, scout anyway. I was about to run- I was about to run away, and I was like, wait a minute. Why am I running? Alright, I've got way more T1 on the field, I think, at this point. Um, let's go take a look at what his commander is doing. I've gotta have an air scout, right? Okay, there's one that just came off the line. So I want to go see where his commander is and what his commander is doing. Let me find some more engineers that are on reclaim operations here. Because I want to get him off of this position if I can. I think I have enough T1 units to threaten. 
as this T1 army is now coming under fire. All right, uh, I'm not seeing any point defense, which is good. That's the only thing I think could really stop us. Uh, where's my commander? What are you doing? Start making me more. I need more. Uh, okay, so he's a T2 land, which isn't great. Hello. GG. Oh, he's got overcharge. That's not GG. Got overcharge, not GG, unfortunately. Uh, let's go ahead and grab. Didn't take out that point defense. Uh, oh, that's a big army. Uh, we are at tech two as well. Some of these. So these mixes are now done upgrading. We need to start upgrading more, and then we need to go ring these. Is that a transport? What was he transporting to? Holy shit! It's not good. That is, uh, in fact, really not good. Wow! What a what a play from him. Great move. I can't believe I didn't see it. He probably made that play whenever I was um, panicking. All right, we gotta rush this. Just everything go. Gotta get the engineers first. Really good play, really good play from him. All right, T1's under threat, so is my commander. I do not have energy storage, <laughs> just realizing. All right, so this is actually a pretty dangerous spot for me, right here. Um, be able to take out those mixes. Got units that are not doing anything. I've got armies that are not doing anything. Got a rally point now leading to nowhere. Now I'm making bombers for some reason. What do I do with these? I don't know what to do with bombers. <laughs> Outside of like portly kill engineers. Let's just have them attack me. Let's see how that works. Shit, now we've got this army coming this way. And now this army, this threw me just completely off. This threw me entirely for a loop. Oh, now my air is doing stupid things. Actually, it's taking out a lot of his air, which is kind of nice. Um, what do we do now? What do we do now? We masked all pretty bad. That's, that's one thing that we do. I've got to pull you guys to go clean this up. Um... Can't afford this, but I need I need some. I also need engineers out reclaiming that I have. I haven't done that very well this game. Oh, uh, okay. All right, we can stabilize, right? Right. Stabilize. Go grab these mixes. Oh, he hit hit a little engineer back here. I wonder how many times I've killed this base and then forgot and then just never followed up because there's this engineer back there. You need to go get that. You guys are fighting this. Where are all of my T1 units? Why do I have no T1 units on the field? Why do I just have no units period on the field? Yeah, this is a this is a problem. A lot of my units in the wrong spot right now. Oh, you know what I could do? It is Zooey time, boys. 
There's Zooey time. Go floating over that. I should actually double check. I should actually probably build a radar down here to make sure he didn't do that to me. Not that I'd be able to react in time if he did, but at least then I could say that I built a radar. Although maybe that makes me dumber, because I technically saw it coming and then just didn't do anything about it. What the hell is this? Alright. Let's see if we can fight this. He's running, that's a good sign. It means he doesn't think he can win. Whether or not I can win is a completely different question. He's got black, but no Ilshivas. It's kind of odd. Alright, I now have Ilshivaz. Should probably get some reclaim. Factories up. I also should scout. Do I have a scout? Hello. Scout? No. Fuck. Uh. God knows why that route rally points there. Go ahead and take out these mexes again, I guess. What the hell is this? Oh. He's got a factory up here. I parked my zoos up there on that little cliff. She can't reclaim this. That. What is he doing? What is he up to? Why do I have no air scout? Yet? Okay, here comes one. There's an Elshida. There's an Elshida. There's his commander. Now he's got that gun upgrade, that juicy gun upgrade. Maybe I should get a gun upgrade. That seems to be in style. God, which one is it? Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Yeah, let's go ahead and get a gun upgrade. Why not? Why the hell not? Seems to be the fun thing to do. Why are you guys not shooting? Shoot at it. You guys can hit that hydro. Alright. Okay, this is uh, well, something of a problem. Coming up here. Okay, I need T2 power. I need to reclaim all this. We got tons of engineers here. Just doing nothing. I don't know why I sent all of them to do that. He only has a couple of Ilshivis. Ilshis. Ilshivit. Ilshivibis. Alright, you guys get out there. Power stall. Real bad power stall. How bad is this army that's about to annihilate me? My existence. Oh, this is intelligent. Yeah, gun upgrade and a tech two and a tech two power generator. Genius. Genius. Jagged himself could not have predicted such brilliance. This guy's doing exactly what I was gonna do. He likes his point defense. See? At least I saw it coming. Just didn't react to it. He actually didn't do exactly what I was gonna do. All right, now that my gun upgrades have been completed and my commander is miles away from anything that's worth doing anything, and we're losing this position, and we're not upgrading mexes either because, you know, who has time for that? So we're losing this position that has... Yeah, I actually like bombers now. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, that one should be fine, actually. Uh, I'm going to start upgrading you guys to tech two. I need to get some more Ilshiva production. Okay, for some reason he's scared of me. Lord knows why. Alright, let's get in here. We have gun upgrade too. Let's, let's give him a taste of his own medicine. We also have Ilshivas in this mix. Alright. I gotta say, for one of my first ladder matches back and being stacked against somebody who's higher rated than me, I don't think I'm playing that poorly. I'm not playing well, that's for damn sure, but I don't think I'm doing that badly. Alright. How many else are in this mix for him? More than I have. And I've got this gun comm. This is looking ugly now. 
Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Well, bombers. Let's go deal with this first. Of, of course, there's a flak there now. Let's just go kill the radar. Let's just go kill the radar. Walk my commander over here. That blue spot up there keeps throwing me off. The screen just got weirdly brighter for me. I didn't think I had one of those like adaptive displays. I think at this point we just turn, just gather everything we can. We act like we're falling back. Set all rally points to here. Act like we're falling back, which I mean we are falling back, but uh, get our commander in here. Overcharge. We just go for uh, what we can. Uh, I'm gonna get some T1 bombers for a little bit of additional support. And I think that's the that's the play here. I also don't have all my factories working. So you guys time for that. Alright. Let's get we need a radar up. Let's get a radar. Alright, here's my commander. Come kill me. Come kill me. I have gun too. I have gun two, I have T2 units. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing on me. If I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna go down in a blaze of glory. What am I even fighting? Okay, let me see. Come on, my commander's right there. Come get me. Of course there's a T2 point defense there. Why wouldn't there be? Come get me! Oh, well, this may have been ambitious. I think my army was a little out of position for this. Yep, all right. Well, that was good. Oh, he also had Nano. Man, he was just going for like the whole package. He was going for the whole package. I almost, I think, yeah, it was close down here. If I had had more units and if he didn't have overcharge, game's over there. But he was intelligent and he had uh, he had overcharge, and I was unintelligent and didn't have enough units. Right? Did he have overcharge? I guess we'll go back and look in the replay, but I'm not seeing an energy storage now that I'm looking at his base. Where would it have been? Did he put it somewhere else? Did he panic build it somewhere else? Now I'm confused. No, oh, okay, there it is. It just, okay, it looks different. Oh yeah, he's got multiple. <laughs> They're staring me in the face. Yeah, he's got multiple. I thought these were power generators whenever I first looked at them. All right, so let's go ahead and load into the replay. We'll take a look. Yeah, my all-in strategy was pretty... Uh, uh, I don't think my all-in strategy was going to work. Especially not with three Elspeth sitting in my base. All right, let's load into the replay. I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. All right, and we are back. Jump it up to plus five game speed. Let's look at his build order. Very similar to mine think uh yep very similar pretty standard no hydro build order um factory two p i mean some people go one p gen one max one p gen one max but doing two p gens two maxes two p gens two maxes same deal uh so he actually assists with his engineer and then what does he do with his commander after does he just send his commander out yeah so he he just no, okay, no, he doesn't. He does go second air, though. Which I think was a mistake for me. I used to go second air all the time, and I stopped doing it because I felt like I was just way too vulnerable to land units. Whenever I went second air. So yeah, I stayed in my base with my commander. I probably overbuilt power. Uh, but yeah, he gets that bomber out. Second air, bomber... Starts getting his perimeter factories up as well. Uh, and then he just walks with his comm. And I think his comm... 
I thought his comm was going down here. Apparently not, though. Either that or he's taking a really... Okay, so, yeah, he is... Okay, so he's going here is where he's going with his commander. I could have scouted it with this tank, but I didn't because I wasn't paying attention. This tank was a hero. I don't know why he just stopped chasing. That tank caused him some problems later. I don't think I pushed hard enough on the T1 side. Um, I could have I could have gone harder in the T1 phase. I kind of just like sat on my laurels and raided. I, at least that's what I think. We'll see. Whenever I get in, whenever we get into this, so got a nice little battle group here. I've definitely got more units on the map than he does at this point. I've got more production capacity. Oh, and he is already going for tech two. That was that is a quick tech two upgrade, especially on a ladder match. Like tech two land by seven minutes. That's really really fast. I'm surprised I didn't see Ilshivas sooner. I didn't see Ilshivas until like 15 minutes. Um, I guess it was because he was he was dealing with like all these raids and everything. I also went for engineers first, uh, like I do. So here's. Here's e-storage. Again, I just didn't push. Uh, I did not push the T1 phase hard enough. And um, I think the other thing, I, I didn't push T1 phase hard enough. I think the other thing was I was way too slow to this expansion. At least I think. Him getting in, him getting dug in here and being able to project power over here earlier was very difficult for me to deal with. I, yeah, he, I set him up for some really good overcharges there. Either way, I think it was a good play. Actually, you know, in hindsight, even if I didn't, even if he didn't have overcharge, I don't think I get him because he he was in pretty close to this point defense. There's this fucking thing. This is. Um, that was a really good play. Very good play on his part. Very good play on his part. I lost both of my upgraded maxes. I am ahead of him, though, in total mass accrued. Uh, he has no T2 mexes. Uh, we both reclaimed similar amounts. I guess the amount that I am up is just because I had those, that couple of T2 mexes. But yeah, uh, moral of the story here, I didn't push the T1 phase hard enough. I could have definitely caused him a lot more pain during the T1 phase than I did. Like, look at all these units that I've got just kind of meandering around not really doing anything I like this army is going to sit here for you know solid 30 seconds to a minute in game before it does anything these guys are busy finger popping each other's assholes you guys haven't seen 21 jump street that's what that is from it's a really funny movie um yeah so he did have nano i think my gun upgrade was like the most pointless thing i think i've ever done so, what I, so here's what I should have done instead of the gun upgrade. I should have gone T2 air. Because he then had his commander exposed. And I think he did have flak in his mix, but he only had like one. And it wasn't with his commander. Uh, yeah, he's got a couple of Iosols, or Iosols, however you pronounce it. But I should have gone Tech 2 air and then gone for uh, probably gunships over Nathas. Because I also have air control. He has... He has, like, next to no interceptors. Now here's another... I don't know why he wasted time transporting these. Oh, they're Tech 2 engineers, so... He didn't have them built down here. I was like, why did he transport? But that's his... This is obviously his kind of shtick. Every player has that, like, thing that they like to do that just gets under other people's skin. I really like raiding other people's perimeter mexes. I, I can do a pretty good job of it. This is definitely this guy's, like, thing. Is, uh... 
dropping Tech 2 engineers and building these little these little annoying fire bases. Yeah, and I I don't know why I even wasted the time wasted the bombers here. It was a total waste. Cause then I could have had I could have had an extra two bombers later. It didn't end up making a difference, but if I positioned my commander a little bit better. I still got more land units on the field than he does. He's just able to use his all of his are in a better spot than all of mine are. Yeah, so Poor commander movement. I moved these units too far back in this final engagement. I might have been able to get him here. Maybe. If I had had my units where they needed to be. Um, and for sure if I had had tech 2. Because looking in this mix here. There's a flak back here. But I mean 4 or 5 gunships. like They don't die immediately to flak. I think the flak would have... Or uh, the, uh, the gunships still would have made... Um, difference whether it was an appreciable difference or not who knows but either way uh great game from strife hope you all enjoyed it um i'll get back to i need to get back to doing these a little bit more often like i said got out of the habit with uh coaching over the summer and everything but now that that's done we'll be able to start doing these on a semi-regular basis again doing maybe once a week or every other week something like that so anyway guys thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one peace